Good morning. It's day six of the Expo 2024. Um, we're at the goal. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, Lars Meerstedt is about to arrive. Lars said to us yesterday that he was sleeping just on the other side of the mountain in a village called Pau, which is next to Palau Salvadera, which is where the south landing field for this site is. Uh, El Porta, well, San Pere de Rodes has got two launches, it's the Spineback Ridge, the south and north, and he was in the south side. So he's just walked up and uh, he said he would be here at eight and Swiss punctuality, he's here at eight. So it's amazing. Here he comes with his team. Last time he was sixth, this time he's going to be eighth. It's been a long slog, he's been ahead, he's taken diverted routes. It's been a, quite a race for him. And here's Lars Merstetter. So here's Swiss pilot, Lars. Herzlichen Glückwunsch! Herzlichen Glückwunsch! You don't need to wear the glider, no. The, the back. The back, yeah. 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 Du kannst oh. den Rucksack runternehmen. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, not it's part of the body now. Yes, <laughs> I know. Well, finally. 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 The last part is also not that, yes. not that nice. But if, <laughs> if, if you don't do like... Christian Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, he did it perfectly. It was amazing what he did yesterday flying. How are, what do you feel now? Yeah, good, so it's, it's, it's nice over. Flight, no? Nice view. Finally, good weather here. Yeah. Way better than the first part of the race. Yes. Um, it's uh, Basque country is, is exactly the opposite to... You live there this. in the Basque country, right? Close, yes, yes. That's all. Okay. <laughs> that, that's why I'm too really white. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. And now, takeoff is where? Yeah, later. You will make the last line from there. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> okay. That's you get to speak to me instead of in you. <laughs> so, Lars, how are you feeling? Um, good. Finally, in the end, uh, in goal. Yeah. Very good. And did you have a good night's rest down in Pau? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we tried to make it yesterday um, evening. Uh, we we pushed a lot. It was a big goal to finish yesterday. Um, but then after 20 k's, I had some some pain in the knee and I could not run anymore. And so we decided to go slow and finish this morning. Yeah. We waited until nine o'clock until we take everything down because we were like, is he going to come? And we were hoping, but it, yeah. yeah it, it was the goal, but um, finally, it doesn't really matter. No. So. no. so how was your race the last few days? Uh, it was a very interesting race. Um, we, we pushed really hard in the beginning because we knew from two years ago that it's good to be in advance um, as soon as flying condition starts. Um, and this paid off and I didn't um, believe anymore in the French part of the Pyrenees. Uh, I, hate, I hate this part. Um, it's usually worse than it's um, predicted. And so we pushed even harder to get to Spain very soon. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was like expected in Spain. We could fly the rest of the day straight uh, very fast. Um, but the French side worked better than expected. And so uh, we got a bit uh, in the, we got surpassed by a few athletes. Um, so day four, we had to start with, um, uh, with some disadvantage, so we were like 30 k's behind. Um, but then on day four, we were exactly on the right place. We could fly to the to the west first to turn point four, and then conditions were perfect to race along uh, the east. 
Um, and then in the end we were back at the, uh, like, in the, with the group, leading group. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we were still, uh, we, we, we had the chance, I was flying with Christian uh, the way from Valle de Nuria. Mm -hmm. So um, it, uh, we were back in the game and then I did one mistake. I could not cross this big valley. I somehow, I didn't reach the next ridge that high than the others did. And uh, then I had to land there, hike up 500 meters again. Um, at least I could climb up again to almost 2,000 and fly towards the, the plateau here, but um, we, we lost the leading group. Uh, so mm -hmm. um, was one over the whole race was just one mistake in the end. Um, but beside of this, it was a very good race and we had a very good team. Um, we always had fun, uh, very good time. It worked super well. Uh, I have to say, we, um, we, my team, we were sent to follow you on the day when you decided to go the, a different way to everybody else. So we were scrambling to cross the Pyrenees to, to get to where you are and find your supporters. And um, we always like it when somebody does something different. You know, you've got the whole pack and then one person does something different. It's always interesting to see if it works or not. And um, so, yeah, so your route was was something that was really, you know, mentioned a lot in the, the commentary of the race. So, but it's a shame that the mistake happened at the end. <laughs> yeah, so good that I made the race uh, more interesting. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> and yeah, in the end it was a bit slower, but because I was lucky on day four, it was not the... Um, it was not a mistake mm. that well, like was mm. costing me mm -hmm. uh, the race. That was the, the last one. Uh, so, so when you say you hate the French part of the Pyrenees, were you really happy that Turn Point Five was eliminated? Um, yes, I was. But I would have been more happy if Turn Point Two would have been straight down on the Spanish side because this part between Larin and uh, I know every road, I know every mountain with this green shit where you know cannot take off and. Uh, <laughs> and then you are on takeoff and really uh, motivate, optimistic. Yeah, today, like now, I'm gonna thermal up and fly all the way. And then you end up three k's closer down on the road, and you would have been better been walking. Uh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. you'll have to tell him you go next time to do his route I, planning I, better. <laughs> I told him already two years ago. I, I was really. Uh, um, <laughs> So, sorry for Inigo, but on the road I was like, oh, come on, Inigo, why you put again on the north side the first takeoff? Uh, um, but <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure he listens to you this time. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Good. So, right, we're going to let you sign the signboard to say that you've arrived. And then I know it's very early for champagne, but we've got some cava for you to spray at your supporters. And then we'll have a quick word with them as well, because obviously it's a team event. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for your um, cool family organization. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a pleasure here. Oh, good. OK, so let's sign the signboard. So, the second, that's your first, all right, so now you've, you're in goal. Whoa! Oh. 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 Yeah, but no, no, but you need the cava first. <laughs> 